Hi everyone, welcome to my virtual poster presentation. So the topic of my poster today is modeling of chromatin accessibility from personal genetic variance and transcription factor expression. So uh, in the complex field of computational genetics, a series of sequential factors comes into play. Genetic variance could impact chromatic accessibility, and chromatic accessibility can influence gene expression, ultimately giving rise to observable phenotype traits. So the interpretation of how genetic variance potentially impact chromatin accessibility through regulatory elements will help in advancing the understanding of the cause of disease and realize the ambitious goal of personalized medicine. So, but why do we, are we also interested in transcription factors? Because if a variance is present in the binding motif of a transcription factor, then the impact of variance will, can be, um, you can see like visualized or can be shown by the TL transfer factors expression level. Moreover, transfer factor can give us a more context specific view of variance because if the transfer factor that is impacted by the variance is more highly expressed in some of the tissues, then we can know that that variance is also having the context specific effects. And by taking transfer factor into consideration, we can also solve the uh, problem of linkage disequilibrium if two genetic variants uh, inside the same LD block that one of them is present in a transfer factors binding motif and the other is not. Uh, so currently uh, the gap to be filled is that uh, we have the ENCODE data set, which is have a lot of, uh, which applied a lot of different sequencing methods. It has the gene expression, the chromatin accessibility, but it does not give us any personal uh, inf information. On the other hand, the GTEx project, it has the personal, the donors, each individual's information from the gene expression and the sequence, but we do not have the chromatin accessibility. So how to integrate the information from two data sets together? So here I present a regression model that is trained on the ENCODE data set, which takes transfer factor expression, transfer factor binding as input to predict the chromatin accessibility. Afterwards, the transfer factor coefficients are used for downstream analysis to on uh, the GTAX data set to identify the uh, EQTL ratio and also using font mapping to see if it's those variants are associated with a phenotype traits. Yeah, so uh, because we are predicting the chromatin accessibility on multiple regions all at the same time, there will be an issue of underfitting. So uh, to add more features, we are I'm also involving the structure factor pairs as input. And yeah, so here are my results. Result one is that by after solving the underfit issue, the prediction accuracy improved significantly on all tissues. And the second result shows that the model trained on the selected highly variable regions around 10,000 regions, uh, if we use that same model to predict the chromatin sensibility on all regions around, I think 2.9 million regions, it still has a relatively high uh, prediction accuracy, which suggests that the model could successfully capture the impact of those highly variable transcription factors in the model. Here you might notice that for some tissues, the model, the accuracy of prediction on all regions are even higher than the 
highly variable region. This is because for the highly variable regions, we use the leave one tissue out. But for the all regions, um, all the model is trained on all tissues. And for the results too, you can see that this model outperforms other methods. And uh, the bird is a big data regression model that takes gene expression as input. Even though this regression model is relatively simple in structure, it can outperform bird in the majority of the 23 tissues. And about the R open methods, it, even though it takes both our open also take both transfer factor expression and binding as input. It is one region, one model. Therefore, our model can outperform it because it can capture the more global impact of transfer factor on uh, chromatin accessibility. Yeah, so for result four, result five are both the evaluation uh, performed on the GTAX data set. So uh, after we got the coefficient, the transfer factor expression, the variance impact on transfer factor binding, and as well as the transfer factor coefficient trained from the model are then used to give a, the variance from GTAX data set that impacts score. So all 1.5 million variants in open regions, they are like given one score and then they are, they can be. So result five shows that, that if we rank we reorder those variants by like the highest score and we set different cutoffs. The highly, the top rank variants, they show a higher ratio in EQTL, which suggests that those variants that are prioritized by our model are more uh, important in gene expression process. And for the result four is that we uh, use a fun mapping to, we select a one highly variable, sorry, we select one low size that we know that variance is associated with height. Then we select the uh, two million base pair long range and then rank those uh, variants that are within that two million range. And I think around, 100 variants are selected. And then we can see that the donor with those variants are high, higher average heights than those donors who do not have those variants. We suggest that those variants are correlated with the tree 